All right, guys, so today we're going to be talking about partial products, okay, partial products. And one of the things that I want you guys to see is that when we see the word partial, what is one of the words that we kind of think of here? We look at the beginning of the word, we see the word part, okay, we see the word part. A part means that we're breaking things into, or partial means that we're breaking things into, into different parts. So, with that being said, we're going to learn one strategy, and this is only a strategy, guys. You don't need to use this strategy. However, initially, I want you guys to learn it just because, well, it's a good strategy to have kind of in your math toolbox, okay? So when we're doing double digit times double digit multiplication, we're going to, uh, we're going to be, you have the option to use this strategy. So we're going to start with a problem today. We're going to go with 34 times 27, okay? We're going to try 34 times 27. Now, here's what the partial product strategy looks like. The very first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a square. Okay? Not too big, not too small, but make sure that you can have room inside of the box to write some numbers because there will be some fairly large numbers in some, some of these. Okay? So the first thing we're going to do with partial product strategy is you guys are going to draw this box. Okay? The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to look over here. I'm going to get myself... Uh, these numbers, we're going to break them into different parts, okay, because that's what the partial product strategy is. So we have 34, all right? Well, I'm looking at 34. I see that there's a 3 in the tens place, so that's 30, and then there's the 4, okay? So on the top of the box, I'm going to write 30 plus 4. So I just broke 34 into my tens and my ones, 30 plus 4, okay? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 27. 27, I'm going to do the same thing with that, but I'm going to go down the side of my box. So there's two groups of 10 in my tens place, so that's 20. So I'm going to put 20 here, and I'm going to put 7 here. So 20 plus 7. All right, now the thing about the partial product strategy is, the thing that, that always helps me is, wherever, wherever you see a plus sign, I'm going to make a line, okay, that goes straight down, or there's a, there's a plus sign over here as well, so I'm going to go straight across, okay? So wherever there's a plus sign, that's where I'm making a line, either going down or across, depending on where the, where the uh, addition um, sign is, okay? All right, so we have 30 plus 4 and then 20 plus 7 down the side. Now comes the multiplication. All right, the multiplication is as follows. So in this box right here, in this box, we're going to do 30 times 20, okay? So imagine that the 30 is dropping down into that box and the 20 is coming across. Well, 30 times 20, well, that should be fairly simple because we know that we could just look at the 3 times the 2, and that equals 6. There's two zeros afterwards, so I'm going to put 0 zero. Okay, so 600. Now I'm going to go over to the next box. Okay, so I'm going to go over here to this box. Imagine that the 4 is dropping down into that box and the 20 is coming across to the box. So 20 times 4, well again this should be fairly simple because we know 4 times 2 is 8. We have a 0, we took there's one zero after 20 so I'm going to put a 0 after that. So 4 times 20 is 80. Now I'm going to go to the next box down, down here. Again, imagine that the 30 is dropping down, okay, and the 7 is coming across. So 7 times 3 is 21. There's one zero at the end, so I'm going to put that at the end here. And now I'm going to go to my last box over here. So imagine the 7 is coming across, the 4 is coming down, 7 times 4 is... 28. Okay. Now I have all these numbers, but the question is, what do I do with them? All right. The answer to that is I am going to add them all together. Add with the biggest numbers at the top. Okay. The biggest numbers go at the top. So for example, 600 plus 210. Make sure we line them up. If we don't line them up properly, it's going to be really difficult to make sure that we get this, uh, get it correct. The next lowest is 80 or the next highest, I should say. And then we have 28. And I'm going to add all of those numbers up. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 8 is 8. And 
Then in my tens column, I have an 8, a 2, and a 1, which equals 11. And then in my hundreds column, I have 6 plus 2 plus 1, which is 6, 7, 8, 9. So my answer here is 918. Okay? And this is partial products. So this is just another strategy you can use to do double digit times double digit. And actually, you can actually do bigger numbers than that too, which we'll talk about at another point. But this is how you could do double digit times double digit uh, using the partial product strategy.